So um, once you guys go ahead and graph this, hopefully you guys have understand if you guys remember from your notes last class period, when you um, are subtracting a number inside of the function, it's inside the bracket, so it's inside the function, that's shifting the graph four units to the right. So typically you have your absolute value function, which is now just being shifted four units to the right. So your graph should look something like that, right? If not, make sure you guys go to zoom standard and uh, hit, or hit zoom and then go to option six, which is zoom standard, and you should see something just like that. Now I want to talk about the domain, because we've talked about the domain algebraically, right? Finding, and basically finding the domain algebraically, we just look for when was the function not in the domain, and we wrote that in interval notation. Well, when we're looking at the graph, basically finding the domain is how far does the graph go to the left, how far does the graph go to the right? So even if you are on a test, you could always graph a function and visually look at it to kind of verify, make sure you algebraically did it correctly. So you can see how far does this graph go into the left? Negative infinity. And to the right, it goes to infinity. And you can see there's, is there any, is there any fraction here? Is there any square root? Right, and those are the only two constraints we talked about. The range, which we're now just beginning to talk about, which we kind of uh, mentioned a little bit again last class period, the range, when you guys look at this, is um, going to be how low the graph goes to how high it goes. So how low does this graph go? Zero. And how high it goes? Infinity. You can see, though, that zero is included, so we use a bracket. Zero is a value on the graph, so it's zero up to infinity. Okay. Now, let's do the next equation.